हेलो व्यूअर्स माय नेम इज़ जुबेर हसन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट और सीपीयू व्हिच इज़ द मेन पार्ट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर और आल्सो नोन इज द ब्रेन ऑफ द कंप्यूटर यू मे सी डेट इन दिस डायग्राम मल्टीपल बॉक्सेस आर इंटरकनेक्टेड टू ईच अदर और डिजिटल मॉड्यूल्स आर इंटरकनेक्टेड टू ईच अदर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we describe the central processor part or box in which multiple sub units are connected you may see that here it consists of control unit cu alu arithmetic logic unit and other memory units cache ram and rom i am going to describe briefly each one part first of all what is rom basically rom stand for read only memory it is a permanent memory which store the bios program or bios chini operating system which contains the information about post program and as well as bootstrap loader it perform its operation or it is it is being used when the computer is turned on then we come to the ram part you see that random access memory it is a temporary memory which store the programs temporary to provide the instructions to the microprocessor it is a memory where the programs or computer program come from rom or this storage after that the instructions are going to the processor and at the right side at the bottom there is a cache memory which is used to speed up the transfer of instructions it is the memory it is a memory which is nearer to the microprocessor then at the upper side there is a cu which is stand for control unit when instructions come from the memory or temporary memory ram then the operation part or the opcode part of the instructions comes to the instruction register into the control unit so control unit contains the instruction register which store the opcode of the instruction after that when the opcode is decoded then the control unit provide the signal to the arithmetic logic unit to perform a particular kind of operation the operation may be logical operation the operation may be arithmetic operation or also provide the signal to the any output device to provide the control signals to the input or output devices now at the left there is a input module or input digital module which provide the input to the micro processor or input comes from here store in the buffer the data comes from input store in the buffer and then come to the micro processor there is a another storage box at the bottom of this diagram which represents the external memories such as hard disk flash drives or it can also be the permanent memory we can say and there is also the output box which represent that output devices or output digital modules that are connected to the central processor so for further explanation of these units you may see my next videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel
इनशाला यू विल गेट मोर वीडियोज़ थैंक्स